11 family members who, while we understand the pain caused by some family members speaking against this, that we 100% fully support the Islamic Cultural Center in New York City, two and a half blocks and around the corner from Ground Zero. People ask me, why is it that I, the Shalom Center, and hundreds of rabbis and other Jewish leaders who have come together with us in a public statement supporting Park 51 Cordoba House in Lower Manhattan. Why? Well, I could, of course, quote the Torah. Love your neighbor as yourself. Don't do to your neighbors what you would find hateful if they did it to you. But for me, the deepest teaching came when I was seven years old from my grandmother standing in a line at the kosher butcher shop in Baltimore and overhearing two other women on the line talking with contempt about African Americans, the Schwarzes, they said in Yiddish. And she interrupted them. She said, you must not talk like that. That is the way they talked about us in Europe. And this is America, and you must not talk like that. The New York Civil Liberties Union and the ACLU have defended the right of all religious denominations, from major faiths to marginalized religions, to establish places of worship and to pray or not pray as they choose. Preventing Muslims or any group from freely protecting their, practicing their faith is unconstitutional and get, goes against the very core of American freedom. Those who oppose Park 51 have every right to speak their minds, but in the end, discrimination is a losing proposition. If we betray our ideals, we'll hand a victory to those who seek to undermine our nation. And to those who believe, as I do, that ground zero is hallowed ground, I say, let us honor the memories of those who died, not by abandoning our values, but by standing up for them. And for those who are uncomfortable with it, we say, let's do that even if it hurts. Thank you.